Hey everyone, this is the Ghostbuster Backpack from Spirit Halloween and what I'm going to do is a little bit of simple weathering with some spray paint to hopefully make it look a little bit more realistic. Yeah, basically what you do is you take the spray paint and then you puddle it into a tray and you got to do this pretty quick and uh, use something like a sock and you dip it in, you do like a like a dry brush and you try to hit the uh, the highlight areas, the corners, the edges, anything that looks like it might have had uh, some uh, paint weathering. So let's we'll see how this turns out. See how I'm hitting along the edge there. It's working. Also use a sponge brush, which I might wind up doing for some smaller areas. It's just hard to get to every little thing. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let me hit these circles. Over here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this to the whole thing and we'll take a look at it again when I get done. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Uh, might have went a little overboard. I don't know. I'm not really going by anything except just what I think looks pretty cool. Uh, so far, it's looking pretty neat. Uh, might do a few more little things with some acrylic on some of those silver pieces. They just don't look, don't look quite right. Just to something to sort of dirty them up. I mean, like this piece here, that center piece over there. Just a couple more little things, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty cool. Now, the paint I used on this is Valspar's Metallic. It's actually a brushed nickel, and I thought it just had a nice look to it. A little bit more weathered, maybe not quite as bright, it's just standard silver. So, it looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit more weathering using the acrylic method where you use acrylic paint just plain old black acrylic paint and a wet paper towel it's pretty simple to do just take your brush get a little bit of paint on it and take like this area here you see there's nothing happening that looks interesting so we just we're just going to cover it up with the paint like so and then when you get done with that, you sort of just put it on there, which don't look too bad like that. But what you do, is you take the wet paper towel, and then you just sort of pat at it a little bit to it starts looking right. And you can just sort of go back and forth, add a little bit more. You can even just leave a light on there if you want to. But this will make sure you don't have any brush strokes or anything. I'll leave a lot of that on there. It looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to go around to a few other areas. Uh, maybe the ribbon cable, some of the wires. Just something to make it a little more grungy, dirty, so it looks more realistic. 
All right, we must keep doing this to these little areas that are just too plain, like this right here. Put that paint on there nice and good. I don't, I don't know what all these parts are, and I'm sure they all have names. I like Ghostbusters, I just don't know all the parts. Just trying to make it look old or used. Yep. Dirty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see. I think this, this area right here could probably use a little bit. Down inside here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sort of like it's a like a dirty display and it's been it's been wiped away. Alright, let's see. Maybe a little bit of stuff on these stickers. You just sort of use your own discretion anytime you're doing this type of thing, just whatever you think looks good. Let's see. I'll hit these wires a little bit. Mm, not sure that's gonna do too much. So maybe these these little silver connector areas. They always look pretty neat. It's a little bit of something on them. So just about any of them, even the gold ones. <laughs> These gold ones are not too bad. A little something on there. Okay. Uh, let's hit this one over here. I do think that the the actual prop used brass on all these gold areas. Let's see, what else we got? Yeah, it's right. Let's see, well, this thing right here. It's got a little paint. Let's see with this acrylic paint, if you you don't really have to worry about messing up. If you don't like the way it looks, it's water-based. It'll come right off. All right. All right, let's see. There's another one of these silver, silver things. It looks connector areas at the end of this wire. A little bit on the sticker. And let's see. Let's see if this works on this ribbon cable to look like anything. Oops. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick a bunch on there. Because this will be a nice, dirty ribbon cable. Another good thing about this acrylic paint is that if it gets on your hands, it washes off. Unlike spray paint, which is a bit of a pain. Right. Let me get a little bit more paint. I'll keep putting some more on this ribbon cable. I guess I really have to get the back side of it 
since you can't see it. That's pretty neat. Let me come around to this other side here. Some of it I'm, I'm, I'm leaving on heavy just because the plastic's so smooth it's just paper towels picking it all, all off of it. Uh, let's see, more little gold things over here. Yeah, this thing is pretty cool though. Let's get this thing. That thing right there really needs it. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the whole thing. Let's see how it does. Okay. looking pretty good pretty good that leaves a lot of that black down in the grooves uh, let's see around this on this side well, I think that's about it let me see if there's much on this part right here Trying to keep anything from looking too brand new. Check on this other side here. There's a little bit of an area. There's another sticker over here. And there was an area. I got a little bit of silver paint right here. We'll just try to cover that up with some black. Because the silver was spray paint. Spray paint does not like to come off. Okay. I don't think I've missed anything. If I did, I'll just come back and touch it up. But that's pretty much the majority of it, I believe. I'll tell you, this thing is really cool. Get it fired up here. Anyway. So cool. Here's a close up of the detail and the weathering. It looks pretty cool there on the sticker. This area here. Ribbon cable turned out nice. I went back and added a little bit more black to the wires. Because if you've ever seen the wires inside of an arcade machine or 
and inside of a car, they are nasty. So we had to get these things looking rougher. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you to see some pretty easy ways to modify uh, an inexpensive prop basically to make it look weathered and a bit more realistic. All right, thank you.